Chapter 8 Skillful in Bed Woo. Why did Ira know that I decided the eloping couple? It didn't look like he'd known anything yesterday. In any case, he no knew. He now knew. <laughs> the only possibility I could think of was Taco telling him, but I didn't know what to do. Who did you hear that from? It doesn't matter. I have no intention of questioning Miss, Mia Miss Misao about it either. Then you'll let us go? However, Ihira completely cut Hayato off. Hayato and I slowly gazed at each other. Hayabusa, lately you've been restless and nervous. As a courtesan, anything that influences your performance is a problem. I never meant to, but who, who would snitch on us? You're being disgraceful. It doesn't matter who had told me. It, I don't ask people where they get their money when they pay us. There's no problem as long as it circulates through the pleasure district. It's just that when you're with this young lady, you act like a young servant. Letting your emotion slip into something... Letting your emotion slip isn't something a proper criticism does. That's all I'm saying. Um, Ihira, I'm the one at fault, so yes, you are. Ihira, see, your heart wavers even at the slightest poke. I s I said, is that how your mentor raised you? How pitiful. I thought you were a better courtesan than this. Mm. Hayato bit his lip with regret. I couldn't do anything for him but sympathize with his pain. I could at least say, please stop it, Ihira. I'm sorry, Hayato. Scold me. Scold me, senpai. No, I would say, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Hayato. Hayato. <laughs> Hayato, I'm I'm sorry. Why are you apologizing? You haven't done anything wrong. <laughs> but it's my fault. Things have turned out like this. Even if that's true, you still haven't done anything wrong. He's right, Miss. I was just questioning Hayabusa's duties because he wasn't fully grown up. Misao, you don't need to worry about the situation right now. No matter what happens, I'll protect you. Please don't blame yourself or worry about all of those things. Hayato's words reverber reverberated in my chest. Hearing those words from someone else wouldn't have affected me. But Hayato's words had to have been special to me. I slowly realized these things. Hayabusa, I'll say it again. I won't forgive any disgraceful actions. What was disgraceful? Was it his consideration toward me? Was that really shameful? But Ihira, I still don't understand. What's wrong with letting my heart waver for, over, for a girl who's important to me? Hayato suddenly began to speak in a painful tone. First, you need to realize that having a special woman is a mistake for a courtesan. You have one too, don't you? I do not. You're lying. I don't have one, and I never have. <laughs> Just wait until we play your root, baby. I was born in the Pleasure District and will die here as well. That was just too sad. I couldn't bear hearing it and looked down at the ground. Even so, haven't you ever thought about finding true love? Did he? Mm. Oh, look at his sad face. I just shouted in sorrow, which made my shoulders tremble. Was it like him to shout so powerfully, so grievingly? Let's stop, Hayabusa. We shouldn't talk about this in front of a guest. But can someone come over here? Ihira clapped his hands and called for someone. I slowly lifted my head up and Hayato was biting his lip in agitation. Agitation. Ihira, did you call? You're just in time, Kagura. Starting today, Hayabusa will be retrained by Kagura. Huh? But, but Kagura is my... He just has to fix his behavior and won't be bothersome like one of the servant boys. Kagura, you can be Kagura's assistant for the rest of your life. This is a good chance for you to become independent. <laughs> Kagura didn't look happy, but about Ihira's decision. Haibusa, please go with Kagura and Kagura. You must become a perfect courtesan who doesn't falter in any situation. Hayato stayed quiet with his hung, while his hung, while he hung his head low. Hayato, 
sorry for showing you how unslidy I am, Misa. No, it's my fault. Can I come and see you again? Why don't we have a little talk about that, Miss, M Miss Misao? Huh? Ihira, please don't do this. What do you mean? I won't harm her. I'm just going to chat with her. Come on, Hayabusa. I know you don't like it, but this is for the best. Leave. After that, Harcho hesitated, but ultimately left. I stayed there feeling anxious. I followed Ihira to a room in the back. The room he brought me to was much simpler than the other ones in Kikuya. This is my room. I'll prepare some tea, so please sit comfortably. Um, you don't have to do that. I felt miserable as he spoke to me calmly. There was no way I could sit comfortably in this comfortably in this situation. I could hear him preparing the tea. I then heard the water heating up on the stove. It echoed through the quiet room. He'd come here before he'd turned ten. Huh? Ihira placed a teacup in front of me and began to speak. He's been such an intelligent looking boy. He'd had a stubborn side to him, but it was understandable considering his age. I thought he would get used to living here, but he was quiet and sociable. And above all else, strong-willed. Ihira looked far off into the distance as if he was dreaming of the past. He was telling me about Hayato's past. It took me some time to figure that out. Yeah, you're a pretty, pretty smart girl. About two years after he'd come here, he's had a big fight and had been with... Oh, <laughs> who was it? He'd fought with Tako. It's so funny, Tako can be hostile, but he always talks so casually afterwards. afterwards. They'd gotten into a scuffle. They hadn't even been afraid of scaring their faces. I can't believe that he ha that had happened. Yeah, but that was the only time that had such a big fight. He'd really been so unsociable and unwilling to cooperate. But now he's made his way up and even has his own private room here. It might have been thanks to his sexual powers, don't you think? Oh. Ihira looked at me mischievously, and my cheeks immediately blushed, flushed, flushed, blushed. Um, I wouldn't know, really. Please don't tease me. <laughs> uh, I wouldn't. I think I would do the first one. Like she doesn't know, right? Like she doesn't know shit. I I wouldn't know. <laughs> You're so innocent. Have you taken a liking to Hayabusa's bed? Huh? I. Ihira smiled at me as I blushed. Ihira slowly stopped smiling. Well, I don't think a woman would be entranced from just a bed. I'm sure many women are attracted to his sincerity. I felt a prickling pain in my chest. Oh, he's making her jealous. Trying to hide it, I forced myself to smile. I'm, I'm, I'm sure you're right. Um, but why had I had to fight with Taco at that time? Curious, are you? Of course I am. Have some tea before it gets cold. Okay, uh, thank you. Instead of answering me, Ihira smiled. He then started talking about Hayato's past once again. It had been about his comfort candies. Huh? When Hayabusa's mentor gave him his allowance, he would always rush out and buy candy. Hayato had done that? Yeah. Knowing that, Tako had made fun of Hayabusa, telling him that men shouldn't eat sweets. If that was the end of it, they wouldn't have gotten into a fight, but Tako had continued teasing him, saying that wanting to give candies to a girl was childish, and that he wouldn't be able to grow up. <laughs> Look at his pain face. Apparently, he'd guessed right, and that's when they'd started fighting. I can't believe that all of that happened over comfort candies. I finally figured it out. He diligently collected all of these candies so he could give them to you, right? That must be it. I I felt like my stomach was filled with butterflies and I couldn't speak. Had Hayato always been thinking of me? Is If that was the case, then I would feel so guilty. To protect myself from the pain over these past few years, I'd slowly started to forget about him. I'm sure Teko had been jealous of him. 
They'd both lived in the same place, but Hayabusa had someone he cherished. Takao had still been just a young child after all. Ihiro slowly sipped his tea. I sat there next to him, covering my face as I wiped my tears away. So, Miss Misao, how did the comfort candies taste? The candy's from an old shop in this area and is said to be the best. It was very delicious. I'm happy to hear that. Well, then, will you come back to Kikia to visit Hayabusa again? Huh? I was startled by his sudden question and stared at Ihira. Just like the first time I'd met him, Ihira had a welcoming smile on his face. If you do come again, how about I hold on to the remaining valuables in your procession? Huh? The patrol supervisor can't use them as evidence if you don't have them. If you let us hold them for you, it'd be like you never had them. But I'll take the valuables as payment so you can meet with Hayabusa. Plus, it might help pay off Hayabusa's step as a courtesan. If that's what you want, that is. His sudden proposal confused me, and I stiffed my eyes back and forth. Ihira might have been right. In order to see Hayato here in the pleasure district, I needed to lay low from the patrol squad and their supervisor. However, if I didn't have the valuables anymore, then they couldn't use them as evidence. Even if they doubted me, they couldn't do anything without any evidence. How about it, miss? Um, well, but I was sure Hayato wouldn't like the idea of me doing that. Even if I did it in order to see him. I was sure he wouldn't be angry if I used those valuables for his sake. Oh, that he would be. <laughs> Man, I think it's a fair proposal. Yes, I understand that, but what's holding you back? Hayato wouldn't like it if I did that. Even if you just did it to visit him? Yes, he told me to use it for a man I really loved. Oh, that sounds like something he would say, but you know miss, feeling alone can change people and neither can someone's orders. People choose their own path to take and who they want to love. You might be the only one thinking those thoughts. I might be the only one thinking that. I won't force you to decide now. When you've calmed down, please take the time to listen to your heart. After that, Ihira saw me off as I left Kikuya. I turned around to look up at Kikuya, but Hayato was nowhere to be seen. I was full of regret. Why did all of this have to happen? I was sure I would have helped those two lovers no matter what. I hated how naive I was. I just wanted to be with Hayato. Once again, my naive wishes were making my heart waver.